Welcome to Mastermind Gameplay, where we test out our war strategies with real adversaries. Today we're going to try to save a few of our resources and go guerrilla style on our adversary. I found a sweet spot, one of those Mayday ships to just kind of sit there and they don't really go anywhere. I don't think the Spat were very smart when they designed that for their AI. So today, we're going to test out several different drone warheads. Or cruise missiles, if you'd like to consider it that. First, I gotta set up our building area. I don't want it to be on the same side as building regular ships. They don't need that big of a door. I start out with a standard rotor, take off the big head, and I put on a small head. This gives us the advantage of putting small batteries on there for the cruise missile and allowing them to charge while we're building the rest of it. By the time you're done building the rest of the cruise missile, the batteries are pretty much fully charged and you don't need another power source. There we are. Kind of funky. I've had to make a few modifications compared to several ones in the past. Underneath the steel skin, are a lot of warheads. This steel skin is just to protect our cruise missile as it approaches the enemy. Unfortunately, in the past, I ran into our cruise missile getting shot down really quickly and blowing up way before it got to the target. Now I just have to maneuver this thing out here real careful like. I'm not sure if I armed or disarmed the warhead, so I don't really want to bump into anything or our whole ship could go down. Eh, it looks like we cleared the door at least. Over there, of course, is our large asteroid just made fully of ice, and that's what I've been using to power everything, besides the solar panels you see on top of the battle station. Uh, let's see, where was that Mayday at? So Mayday ships don't give out a continuous signal, but you can kind of see it blink on and off in the distance. It's really just to throw their enemy off target so they can't figure out exactly where they are since they are a stationary object. If you use your scroll button on your mouse, you can actually scroll in and see the ship. Oh, it does have guns on it. Oh. Well, I think traveling from a long distance with only one drone makes it kind of tough to actually attack this thing. We want to be able to do multiple runs over and over and over again to kind of throw them off so we can at least hit them with one. That's the idea of the guerrilla attack. Not to have one large ship, but to have many small ones that come flying at you one after another. To do this, I'm gonna to have to build an entirely different ship just to haul them there. I don't wanna take the battleship that close. Right now it's about 15,000 kilometers away from us and we don't really wanna get closer than say 4,000 kilometers because I've seen drones come out of it and they do attack us. Now here's the basic ship that I created. It's not that fancy, but I have loaded six different individual cruise missiles. The ship is surrounded by auto cannons, some Gatling cannons. So if we do run into any issues, I'm sure they can take them out before it causes a problem. All six of these drones were built on rotors where I once again used a small head and then I attached hinges and pistons to them. This is for the convenience of being able to change the position of these small drones before we actually detach them from the piston. See, yep, still in the same general area. 
There's a camera on the front of the ship also, which I've used so I can accurately aim our ship at it. And then I'll detach a drone so the drone doesn't really have to move that much. It just has to basically fly in a straight line. This allows me to only have to have one thruster on these cruise missiles. Now in here, I've set it up by hinge one, piston one, per drone, up to six. As you can see, it's raising it up above the cockpit. And it's going to be turned on its side, but it's not a big deal. Once it's up in position, then I just take off the head of the piston, which disconnects it from the main ship. Like so. And since we're in space, it's just going to hover there until we gain control of it. For this, I just go back to my main ship, go to the terminal, remote access, and it's going to be the only small grid close to us, so it's pretty easy to find. Next, I want to make sure that we have the camera set up so we know what we're viewing. And I've grouped the warheads on it and added a button in the number two slot to arm and disarm them. We don't really want it armed as we're leaving this larger ship. We just want to be able to arm it after we've left. Then with the camera, we should be able to zoom in and see exactly where they are. I'm not sure where the guns are located on this thing, but hopefully we can hit something before we actually get shot down. Oh, there they are. And they took us out. I don't know how many times we're actually going to be able to throw cruise missiles at this thing before drones figure out where we're at. All right. Cruise missile number two. Just gotta zoom in, see where the ship is at. Now I'm trying to aim a little bit more towards the side, so there was a gun on that side, maybe we can hit it. And again, disappeared on us. I think I saw a little smoke there, so I think we may have hit it. Oh, look, you can see a drone already over there, one of the attack drones. It's a little red and white dot. I think they're getting suspicious of the activity that's going on. Of course, that's the point of the guerrilla warfare, is you're only sending small cruise missiles or small attacks at a time to an enemy driving crazy. Oh, man. I guess they did figure out where we were. Woo! I'm glad I put guns on this thing. Oh, that's kind of a bigger drone. I better rotate this ship, otherwise we'll never hit him with an autocannon. I think we got it. He was so close, that autocannon just smoked him immediately. This is one of the hazards of the profession. Being that close to a mayday, you're going to have to be on guard all the time for these darn drones. But that's kind of the point, because the guerrilla warfare, we want to draw somebody out one at a time and knock out the enemy. Instead of having to go after the main body of the enemy itself, we want to draw out their smaller elements and take them out one by one. It kind of weakens the enemy that way. They waste a lot more resources trying to figure out what the heck is going on versus us. Because we just took out multiple drones with our autocannons, and we're just using small cruise missiles that really don't take that much resources at all. check for damage oh, these all look decent the good thing about using hydrogen engines they're a lot more durable than what the ion drives are when you hit an ion drive it immediately starts sparking and you lose your ability to actually control them all right 
shot number three. I can't tell if we're doing any damage to this thing or not, but it kind of looks waffled on the left-hand side there. Maybe it was junk already, who knows. Oh, you can definitely see the smoke that time. We hit something for sure. These cruise missiles with these small warheads are not going to do that much damage. But the great thing about them is they have a lot smaller surface area, so they're harder to hit and stop before they actually hit the target. With large cruise missiles or large warheads or even larger ships, you're giving a huge target area to the enemy. You can use decoys or whatever you want, but chances are they're still going to hit your ship. And number four, come on, we can make it. Boom. I do think that we're doing damage slowly to this thing. I wouldn't expect to take it out with only a couple of shots, even with a six-rounded ship with six cruise missiles on it. It would still take more than that to take this Mayday out. But it does tear it up a bit. If you can see, a lot of the pieces are starting to become warped. It's definitely taking on damage every time we hit it. Yep, you can see the smoke from that one too. And there's another small drone of theirs over in the distance. All right, we got one left. Let me just rotate this ship again, see if we can take out this drone before we launch the last cruise missile. We must have really stirred up the beehive over here. Usually I don't see this many drones around. It's typically just two, and then after two, they kind of forget about you and they move on but i think because this is our sixth cruise missile shooting at them it's kind of hard for them to forget about us we're gonna launch anyways i'm not gonna wait for that other guy Let's see just gotta line it up so i try to line them up first and then go full throttle mainly because there's only one ion drive on these things and i don't want to have to flip it around to slow down to readjust and all that kind of stuff Now this is interesting. It looks somewhat like an engine. I don't know if the engine was originally attached and then we blew it off or what happened. Yep, you could see that there was smoke above that engine. I don't think there was any firing or anything at this last cruise missile. Looks like we got it though. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, what the heck? I guess we missed those drones. Uh, I'm not worried about it. My guns can take them out. Let's listen to that firepower. Are they still out there? Yeah, I think we got them. Victory is ours. Well... Until next time, thanks for watching, and remember to leave your comments in the comment section below.